We're gonna have to pause. Why? Because I'm bleeding everywhere. <gasps> hey guys, my name's Tanya. I'm Tim. <laughs> Welcome to Tiwi Tuesday. Happy Easter. Today, yep. it's, it is Easter Sunday because, you know, we usually film on Sunday and that's what we're doing today. So our bellies are already full. We went and had Easter dinner over at his parents' house today. We had a ham, potato salad, deviled eggs, deviled eggs macaroni salad, baked beans. baked beans, Hawaiian rolls. A lot of carbs. A lot of carbs. <laughs> that makes it really good, right? And then we cheated. I cheated and bought some dessert from Walmart. It was not good. No. Not. It was not good. So we want to talk about dessert because it sucked. So let us know what y'all had for Easter dinner. Did you cook or did you go out? Uh, let's see. We got a pretty good haul. Tim won't tell me everything that he has, so I'm not sure what all he has over there because, you know, he's not coughing it up at all. I wore one of my outfits that I bought for Easter. It came in, and so I cheated already and pulled it out, and I wore it today, and it's super cute. I love it. These shirts are super cheap. Uh, I did get on there and look today even. They have like... I, like eight to ten different colors in this shirt. I bought an extra large in the top. And then the pants that I have on, I just bought a large in. Absolutely love these pants. I'll be able to wear these in the summer too because they're so thin. Uh, let's see. The top I paid $3.98 for. And I did see that they had like the pink today was like $4 for the pink. So... I'm probably going to get on there and order me another one because I really, really like it. It's very comfortable, very stretchy. And the pants I only paid $5.99 for as well. So I got my whole Easter outfit for $9 yep. under $10. Yep. So I'm not going to stand up now, but I will put a clip in where you can see my entire outfit. And then I'll put photos of the model, how they were wearing it and what it looked like on them. But to me... It is very, very comparable to what they had on. So, highly recommend this outfit. Super cute. Okay, here it is. Uh, see how baggy, like, the pants are? I love these. It almost looks like a skirt. They flow, like, so easy when you're walking. And I do have, uh, like, wedge shoes on, kind of, because they probably would drag the ground if I didn't. But they have this, like, elastic waist, so you could pull them up, you know, even higher if you wanted to and bonus they have pockets so yeah pockets are a huge score and i thought i recorded this the other day but guess what i didn't hit record so yeah just got out of the shower and i threw this back on real fast so that you could see it but i would highly recommend these blouses and these pants they're very lightweight and extremely comfortable your turn my turn but you just keep on talking because I got this one for you. So why do I have to keep on yeah, talking? I got it for six ninety nine, and I got a fourteen cent rebate on it. So well, we know it's a mug because yeah. I bought lots of <laughs> I bought lots of mugs, and they always come in these boxes that they always remind me of Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> Those look like the little candied hearts that you get yeah, I actually for Valentine's had this Day. In my cart around that time too, and it disappeared. Oh, it did. So. It's not just a normal black mug, that's for sure. It's plain. What'd you give me a black mug for? Pour hot water in there. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing experiments today, y'all. Okay, so, all right. I guess this is an experiment. It looks all black right now. All right, he even brought in the hot water. Let's see what we got. I guess you could take my top off on. Well, I don't know. This is your experiment. Well, hopefully the water's hot enough because uh, it's supposed to be. Yeah, we might have to insert. Well, it's starting to change on the other side. Oh, here it comes. Whatever it is. Is, it, is that Star Wars? The Death Star? What's that say? I love you to the... I love you to the Death Star and back. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming around this side. Yeah, it's coming around. That is, okay. That's really cool. So your water's got to be pretty hot. And our water only comes up to like right here. But the longer that it stays in here, I'll, uh, if you can't see it very well right now, 
We'll put some more hot water. Then I'll put some more hot water in yeah. here and do a close up for you guys so that you can see it. This is really cool. <laughs> so, yeah. If you guys got a uh, nerdy husbands or or wives or yeah. girlfriends or boyfriends, pretty cool little gift for them. They'll think you just got them a plain black mug. Yep. I like, like that. Like me. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I got to go again. I got to keep talking. Look at that. All right. Yeah, you planned that out just right, didn't you? All right, so I ran out of uh, stickers uh, for my business. So I always put thank you stickers on all of my packages that I mail out. And these always cut, these come in like uh, packs of 500, unless you get the ones that are in a sheet. And then I think you only get like uh, $2.50 or something like that. These were $2.58 for this set. And these are just like a uh, holographic or whatever you call it. And they just say thank you all the way around them. And I paid $1.52 for these. Again, another pack of 500. And these are just like um, watercolor ones. They just say thank you on them and they look like watercolor. So yeah, yeah. got those, had to have them cause I was running out and I need those. All right, I guess I'll talk now for a little bit. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> All right, I paid uh, $3.99 for these and um, got a 43 cent rebate for both of them. I actually got two of these cause one's for myself and getting the other one to my dad and stuff. Mm -hmm. These are actually challenge coins that are shaped like airplanes. Those are cool. His dad was in the, his retired air force. So this one says the um, F-35 Lightning, and it's got the um, the jets flying with the Air Force logo. But on this side, it's got the flag, but then on the other side, it's got the uh, pretty much the details of the plane itself. That's cool, I like yeah, that. So Are you waiting for like Father's Day or whatever? Yep. Mm -hmm. Trying to get stuff together now. Yeah, so. these are cool. Yeah, yeah, those these are done really well. I yeah, like evidently, that. I guess the... Um, People have been buying them, I guess, as toys, I guess, because you insert sort of a thing that is... It says it's not a toy. Over 14 years old. Yeah. You know, so choking hazard for other Yeah, for so, real. Yeah, I would not buy those as no. a toy. All right, um, Tim's got to put this together because I'm not good at this stuff. I paid $3.98 for this, and I bought this for these. So it's supposed to be a holder to where uh, your stickers come off of it, but I feel like this might be way too big. I think this is for the bigger labels. Is this for way big labels? Yeah, I think it's for the wide ones, like a two and a it half. It didn't look like it in the photo. Yeah. I mean, you probably still can use these. That's what I figured that the put both of them on the thing there. You like that, don't you? <laughs> He's like, how did I get roped into this? Mm -hmm. Oh, it can't be that difficult, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like it is. Yo, this is way bigger than I thought it was. I really didn't think it was this big. Okay, but still, I could get extra ones even now mm -hmm. and put them on there. Yep. So, I like this. And then, it showed, like, if you had, um, if you had, like, the flat labels. Yeah. If you had one of those labels, like, I have a, um, what's that called? A label maker. Not a label uh -oh. maker. Oh, I have to sneeze. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I sneezed in the last video, maybe the video before. Um, a thermal label printer, if you mm -hmm. have like the Rolos or whatever, those like take sheets. Mine, uh, it's all inside on a big roll, but they do have some that take the flat ones. So yeah. this would be good for that too. But now yeah, I can more. get some extra ones. And then this way I have well, choices yeah. on what I want to use. And then I can put, uh, actually I can put my scissors and my tape and stuff down here and just have this all sitting yeah. on top of my... Uh, thing out there. I'm impressed with all the organizational stuff. That you like it? Because <laughs> I'm always making fun of him for organizational stuff, right? Yep. He knows it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. That's going to work out pretty good. Yep.
I like this more than I thought I would. It actually is going to hold quite a bit more than I thought. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple more things of thank you stickers because it looks like they're going to fit on there. Yes, but I mean, I like at it. first you're thinking it's, you know, at for first, the big yeah. ones. All right, so I paid two eleven for this. And this is, I've been looking at the, um, the golfing stuff on there quite a bit because we have a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. So I figured I was good with the cheapo thing. And it's by this a, a basic D ring style um, towel that hangs from the golf bag itself, and it's nice and coarse. Oh yeah, this it doesn't. At first, I was like, "Oh, what is that? Just like a wash rag or yeah. something?" But it's not. It actually feels different. Right. What's it made out of? Oh, it's a hundred percent microfiber. So for two eleven, nice little cheap little. Yeah. Why not? Something simple. You ready to go golfing? I want to. I hear you. I do a lot of things. I know. Fish and I can't wait to go fishing. I only paid 28 cents for this. And to be honest, I bought this for the shower. For uh, my bathroom, really. To do the walls. Because all of our... We had our bathrooms redone. And all the walls are... Uh, what is that? Porcelain or mm -hmm. whatever. So, that's what I bought this for. It's got the little handle. It's just a little cheapy. But we'll see how good... It's pretty thick. So we'll see how this holds up. For 28 cents though, yeah, right. I mean, it, it feels pretty decent. So hopefully it works, hopefully it works good. It's only 28 cents though. All right, so I'm gonna do a two for, uh, pay 296 for one and 255. Either one of those mine? One of these are yours. And of course yours was more than what mine was. Hey, whatever. <laughs> But this is what I was telling you about before too. Um, we're out today that when I got to do the uh, my list, tell them what happened. So and see, because I, I want to know if this is happening to y'all too. That no, for those of you that are uh, faithful about doing your price adjustments, let us know. Yeah, because I got on both of these, I didn't get any price adjustments at all for them. Okay. But when I clicked on it to share the link. Uh huh. Um, to my the notes and everything, mm -hmm. they're two two dollars and eleven cents each. They didn't matter what color they were, but I haven't got any price adjustments showing. And what did you pay for them? Two ninety six for one and two fifty five for the other. So technically, he should be getting a price adjustment mm -hmm. on them, should and be. it's not giving it to him. Nope. And and they're cheaper than what he paid for them now. Yep. So I don't know. That's was interesting to me. That is very interesting. I've never caught that before. Nope. I, that's the first time I've seen it too. So I don't know because I, you know, they're doing that uh, sign up for I'm membership. I'm not doing that. No, whatever that is. I think is. it's like three dollars a month or something not like that. Doing so, it. Not so, but this one, back to the programming. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a. Um, I think this one's a six foot plug. Uh, yeah, six and a half foot actually. Ninety degree USB C with the ninety degree angle. USB A. Yeah. And it's the uh, braided cord for you. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yep. I need that so, for when I'm laying in bed. Yep. That's what you said, in the, I think, yeah. two videos ago, and I already so, had it. Because my phone sits here when I'm like <laughs> laying in bed and it's it's tearing up my cord. And I got a red one too, so. That's for right. you? Yep. All right. Let's see what else I got in here? My bag of tricks. Oh, I bought this for Kirk. This is one of the best things to buy on Timu, I think. I have one. Love it. I paid $2.78 for this, and then I got the $0.28 cent price adjustment. And I bet a lot of you already have these. And these are the rechargeable lighters. Love, love, love these things. I, I can't say how much I love mine. I mean, and the charge lasts oh, forever. For, yeah. Forever. I had to pay three nineteen for this. This is a thing that your uh, brother sent me that he saw. Oh, okay. Um, well, one of the things. The other one's in the box there, too. Yeah. But these are those... As you can tell, they're pretty stout, too. But these are for... They're pretty much thumb sockets. So you can put your socket on top there, and in tight spots, you can try to use your hand to turn in tight spots and everything, and it is mm. reversible. Oh, okay, it does too. either way? Yep. So just like a regular ratchet does. Yes. It does either way and stuff, so. So that would, just... when you don't, you don't have room for a handle. Right. Basically. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those have some weight to them. 
So, and it's all three different sizes too. Yeah. Yeah, got all of them. Yeah, and you can go all the way down to the quarter inch ones. Okay. Those are nice. Yeah, so for $3.19, mm -hmm. I was expecting something a little bit. See these guys? These are cool. Yep. Any Anybody that's like a mechanic or anything like that, that you have to do those tight spots where you just, it's a pain in the butt to get that ratchet handle down there. Mm -hmm. this, it's great for that. Yep, and it's just for your hands, so you can't already over. Yeah, you can't over tighten no. it. Mm -mm. That's for sure. Well, I'm sure you can try it. Or strip it out. Or strip there. it, yeah. What's this? Oh, I needed these. I paid $2.89 for these. Hopefully, these work pretty good. Uh, I left mine outside, so they're trash now. I, <laughs> they're all rusted and... Yeah, they're pretty yard, but they're not weatherproof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should have put them away in the shed, and I did not. So, I needed some new uh, trimmers. It's locked. I'm not going to get you. No, but that's it. It's <laughs> locked. <laughs> it's and well, it's locked. And I made sure that, I don't know if you all notice, but like if you buy these from the store, half of these have the stupid guard on one side. I don't want that. I want it to be stinking sharp. <laughs> so, yeah. These don't have the that stupid safety guard on there. So, yeah. Not safety guard. first. These are not safety first. <laughs> But I like them, and I need them. All right, we're going to do another little twofer. I actually uh, bought this for Courtney. Paid three twenty-seven for this, and got $0.40 cents price adjustment. And it is actually a little keychain. And it's... Grouped. Grouped. Courtney loves her little group. It's got the Marvel Studio guy. with the Avenger logo on the strap. I don't know why it's got a bell, though, but it does have a bell. We're taking that bell off. <laughs> That'll drive her crazy. Yeah, well, maybe we should have gone home, man. Oh, well, maybe we will. <laughs> um, but I actually uh, paid four thirty nine for mine. <laughs> you had to give him one, too. Yeah. Actually, but mine doesn't come with a bell. Oh, interesting. And it's the Iron Man one. They're cute. Uh, yeah. But this one's probably not going to be used as a keychain. It's probably going to go on my shelf. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure so, you're not going to carry that around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. What else we got in here? Uh, I got some new nails, of course. I mean, my nails are trash right now. They're terrible. Uh, I paid $1.98 for one set and $1.68 for the other set. And these are like... Uh, pink and glitter and then these are like gold gold glitter with white so i'll do a close-up for these so that you can see them i know uh usually when i get do when i usually show nails i always get comments asking me if i can show how they are put on but i did i actually did a video already so if you ask me in the comments then i'll just link the video for you so that you can go watch it it's a pretty short video and it's just like step by step on how I put those on. I'm gonna do another two, two for one thing here. Okay. Um, paid three forty eight for this one. Mm -hmm. You got a fifty five cent rebate. Paid two ninety eight for this one. You got a forty seven cent rebate. And they're pretty much close to the same. Thing. So these are actually Christian lures. I can't wait to go fishing. I'm just like biting at the bit to go. Can't so, wait. but it looks like a little pod of minnows. Oh, it sure does, like a little school. Yep. Little school minnows. That's cute. So, but that's with the light green. But now, if you notice, this came from a different mm -hmm. person. They're identical. Yep. Were they supposed to be identical? Nope. Oh. This one is actually supposed to be a darker color. Those are the same. Yes. <gasps> <laughs> he just hooked himself. So, as you can see, both of these are exactly the same. 
Oh, funny. What's uh -huh. the price difference between the two vendors? Uh, total is... I stripped that one up. Uh, so with the price adjustment, 398 with a 55. So that's what, three? So it was about a 50 cent difference, it looks yep. like. About 50 cent difference, yep. Well, the higher one, I'd be refund. I'd be returning. Exactly. Stinkers. Those are exactly the same. Yep. Exactly. Right. We're gonna have to pause. Why? Because I'm bleeding everywhere. <gasps> okay, we're back. Tim was bleeding everywhere. I'm just gonna let you know. <laughs> Had to clean up blood all over the table. He hooked himself <laughs> on that fishing lure. Right. These were, these were he said, sharp. I don't I don't know if I look I haven't edited this video yet, so I don't know if you're gonna hear us say we need to stop the video. <laughs> 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 I said, why? He's like, because I'm bleeding everywhere. <laughs> yep. Well, now that we got that cleaned up, yep. we are back. <laughs> Good thing we didn't have to call an ambulance or anything. Nope. Yeah. Bleeding everywhere. Just All right. one Is it mine? I don't even know who's... Oh, it's mine, because you were bleeding everywhere. Yep. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, I got... Okay. I needed a new one. I got a new flag for the front of the house, a new welcome flag. Cause the front of our house looks really sad right now. Yeah. There's like nothing pretty out there at all. It's just blah outside right now. What's the next holiday coming up? Fourth of July? Yes. Yeah, Technically. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I mean, I think fourth of July and um, yeah, fourth of July really. It's probably the next holiday that I actually decorate for okay. i think uh i paid a dollar 81 for this so i'll just need to make like some spring probably some right. cute spring stuff out there and it's just a puppy paw with some little daisies on there it says welcome is that stinking cute or what <laughs> love it yeah, how adorable these are. i know the price. they're awesome not even two bucks for that thing no I think our neighbor gets Timu too, because I noticed she has a flag out there now that I don't remember seeing before. We came awesome. home tonight and I said, oh, I wonder if the neighbor's getting Timu. <laughs> All right, so I paid 2 11 for these. There are actually three of them in here and they're just base, um, just red pins, uh, very fine point. Ballpoint style red pins. Those are very red. Yep. I've been eating this. Do they somewhere. write good? Yep. I actually tried them out earlier. Oh, you did? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. About as red as your blood was. Yes. <laughs> what a way to lead into my next one, right? <laughs> you can actually see the red gel in these. See it right there? So I guess you'll know when it starts to run out. <laughs> You like that? All right. I really hope this works. So last week, it was either last week or the week before, I bought the new sprayer for the hose because I told you all the story about Tim going out there after the winter time and he went to spray and it all cracked and broke. Well, the hose is not that great either. No. So I bought a new one of those stretchy hoses off of here. The last ones I bought, I bought on Amazon. Yep. And I know I paid like $25 minimum for a 100 foot hose. This is also a 100 foot hose and I paid $863 for it. And I had to hunt for this one. So I had to use the little picture cheater thing. And that's how I found it for $863 because some people were charging over $20 for it. And I ended up finding this one for that price. And it, it comes with a squirter yeah. thing, too. A sprayer. A, sprayer a squirter. A sprayer. I was squirting. Yeah, you were squirting the blood everywhere. <laughs> Shit. He's got some red, like, bright red blood. Jeez. That was all over the place. So, I'm going to hook this up tomorrow. It's dark out right now. Look, it even says they sent me the 100-foot one. That's just like one of those Cheesemo ones, but whatever. It's still they still though. work, yeah. yeah. I I had that one all last summer. Yeah. So I mean they're plastic ends, and 
I mean, we'll see. It's got the washer on the inside, too. Oh, this fell off. Where does this go? That's probably, That's probably the washer for this. It's probably an extra one. Because there's one inside there. Does one go on here there's or no? There's one inside there. So, okay. no. Just that's, an extra? Yeah, oh, okay. Just an okay. extra one. All right. So, I'm going to plug this up in the backyard tomorrow during the daytime. And we're going to see how it works. I'll do a video for y'all. Hopefully your side is tight. Oh, I hope so. Well, I haven't squeezed it. It but, doesn't matter. Let's oh, still screw it up. We're about to find out. <laughs> I attempt put it on there. <laughs> you don't trust me? I don't want to crack it. It's plastic. Look how much more turns I took on it. What's you? <laughs> Spray poppy. <laughs> Look. <laughs> he ran. It's growing. It's not leaking out of there. It's already tight there. I would say it's gonna get up to 100 foot. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It looks like a giant earthworm. It does. That's so wild looking. Is it done growing now? Yep. yep. There's little spots here and there, but yeah. Overall, yeah. Check it out. All right, we got it on jet. Let's see. Should we get Poppy? Get all their toys in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> that was mean, wasn't it? Poppy, what's that mean, buddy? He said, Mom, get away from me. Totally worth nine bucks. That tree collapses back down now. Yeah. All right. Gotta empty it. Yeah, there it goes. Shrinking. Yeah, shrink it back down. I'm gonna get another one for the front yard now. Yeah. Now I know this one works. All right, 10 out of 10. It completely collapsed to put it back on the holder. All right, we're gonna continue on with the little uh, office stuff a little bit. So I paid $3.98 for this one. It's actually an all black heavy duty. Come on now. It's a heavy pin with a twist. Mm -hmm. uh, but it also comes with five refillable tips. Oh, nice. So it comes with five extra. Like zebras? Yep. Five extra ones. Dang. So well, that's nice. Yeah, for $3.98. That's, that's heavy. That's unusual. That's heavy. Yeah, these are nice. Nice yeah. fatty. Right. And I actually, I picked up a uh, silver one, a silver color one too, oh, okay. in the same thing. It's got five of the- Let um, me see that over there. I wanna see how it writes. See how smooth it is. Ooh. I might need one of these. That's a, that's smooth. Yep. I love when a pen just glides. That's smooth. And it's not, um, you know, gel pens, they write really well. Yeah, but they smear. They smear, and I hate that. Okay, this one's a little bit lighter. This, that black pen writes really good. This one drags a little more yeah. than the black one, but that black one is smooth. Well, on the, um, on the description for these, mm -hmm. they consider this one luxury, the black one. And this is a like a 619. I don't know what that I means. I don't know what that, that means, but the luxury one writes it's very like, well. Like luxury style. That... <laughs> That's slick. Yep. I might get me one of those. You probably have to send me that link because I like that a mm -hmm. lot, actually. All right. Spring cleaning is right around the corner. And I don't know about y'all, but I get addicted to watching reels like uh, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, and some TikTok. I don't get on TikTok that often, but I do get on Instagram and Facebook of people cleaning. Do y'all get on that? So they call it like clean talk and stuff like that. And you just watch people clean cars, clean houses, clean floors. I know. I know. I don't know why. It's just, 
I, I don't know. I don't even, I bet guys don't even watch that stuff. I don't know if they do or not. I get, it's just, I don't know. I paid $4.19 for this. And I specifically got, we have, uh, we had all of our floors redone uh, a few years ago, about three years ago. And we got that um, luxury vinyl that's waterproof because we got four flipping dogs. But except for our kitchen. Because the kitchen has ceramic tile in there. And I am not about to try to take yeah, that out. 12 by 12 pieces. <laughs> I am not about to take that tile out. But that tile needs, it really needs a good like scrubbing more than just a mop. So, I see these people using this kind of, it's not exactly this tool. But I see them using a tool similar to this. So, Tanya's like, yeah, she can, I can do that. They can, if they can use it like that, I'm going to try it. And I am. I'm going to try it. At least the poles are metal. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, that's, I don't know, the other way. Other way? Oh, good job. <laughs> this is why you put the stuff together and I don't. Maybe. We'll see. This has, you'll be all right. You've already been bleeding once. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be okay. I just want to continue tonight. <laughs> I know, right? Maybe. And then, does this go on here? Is there supposed to be something yeah, else? I no? Probably put, I would have probably put that on this before you. Why? But you can do it that way. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I was just going to say, I would have done the handle on the, the bottom piece first. So it's easier to snap it on. Oh, okay, I just didn't push hard enough. So this has like this double scrubber, see? And it's hard too. And so is this one. And then this one's angled for like the corners by like the baseboards or to do the top of the baseboards. I know, I'm a whack job. And then this has the uh, squeegee on it too. It's got all three things on there. I hope I love this. I don't know, it doesn't seem like it pivots or anything though, so I'm not quite sure. Well, it should uh... It's going to turn this way, side to side. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So okay. it's going to pivot like that. I mean, so. I'm not sure I have this on here right. I may have these backwards or something. I don't know. It could very well be. But this is the point of it. It's not a super long handle, so I wouldn't think this would be great for anybody that's tall. But I'm only, I'm 5'4", so I feel like it's going to work just fine for me. But I really want to get after those. Mm -hmm. Uh those floors are, in there. They are tough. Yeah, they're not to the part of being damaging. Uh, no, force, but they're but strong. They're still, yeah. So I'm thinking, look, I watch these people and they use like, uh, tell me if you all use this. They use like a concoction of like super hot scalding water and baking soda and peroxide. That's what they use in their mop bucket. And then they're just like scrubbing it to town and the stuff that comes off of these, the ceramic tile. Y'all can tell me your concoctions that you have because I guarantee you everybody has like their own little concoctions. But that's what I'm going to try to use first. And then if it doesn't work, then I'm just going to get right back on that clean talk and see what else I can come <laughs> up with. <laughs> I'm pretty pumped about this though. I'm sure I did not put this together completely right, but that's okay. That's we'll fix it. Easy. Yeah, we'll fix it. This is my last item. It's not something I can cut myself with. So that's oh, good. that's good. <laughs> so I paid thirteen eighty five for this. This is a ten piece. He's he's so excited for this though. Yeah, he really is. So I don't know if you he's can been see waiting the, for it. See the back of it. Is this a soldering gun? But the soldering goes into the back, so you pretty much don't have to hold the soldering and it feeds it. It feeds it through so you can solder small tight spots on PC boards or even wires are not. You don't have to use two them. hands. Right. So and like I said, this one's a 10 piece that I got. It comes with the uh desoldering suction pin. It's got different tips for your soldering gun. Even comes with solder. Your hot base. 
so you can rest your soldering gun on when it's still hot. And then kind of like the wet sponge to clean off the tip of your soldering gun itself. It comes with everything. And even two different small tweezers straight in and a angle. angle, about a 45 degree angle once. So it is a powered um, 110 volt soldering gun. Mm -hmm. But the way this works is that the soldering sits on the back of this feeds through the orange hole, and it actually comes out the tip here as you're doing your trigger. It actually self, you know, feeds it as you're doing the uh, triggering through it, so. Are you excited to try this yep. thing? See how that works for sure, because it definitely will become a uh, major saver on a lot of things. Yeah, frees up a hand. Exactly. That's the worst thing about soldering, is you have to hold the solder at the same time you're doing the gun. Yep, exactly. So I know one of the things that said in the instructions, you have to make sure that solder starts off fully straight oh okay so it doesn't get kinked up inside and it does if it does get kinked it does have an access door on the side that you can prop open and figure out why it's not feeding through and stuff mm -hmm. i couldn't get it off early with my just my fingers so you don't have to use like a little flathead screwdriver or something like that yeah so but yeah we'll definitely uh try it out and see how it works and stuff We'll do a close up on those tips and everything. Too. Oh yeah, I'll do a close up of everything and then uh, have him put it together and watch it feed and stuff just to make sure that it works right. Right. But yeah, he's he's been pretty excited waiting for this to come in. Yeah, your brother actually is the one that sent this to me. Yeah. So ever since then, I'm like, oh, it's in my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been it waiting did, for it. It only took probably a, about a week and a half. Yeah. It was. It really wasn't that, that long for it all. to come. Like I said, the soldering just sits on the back right here and everything, because I got to take this roller apart to yeah. put this on. So, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Definitely see how it works. Yeah. As you can see, it's coming out the end right there. No problem at all. Just like squeezing a trigger. That's sweet. Nice. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys, that's the that's the end of Timu Tuesday. Tim lived through this yes. Timu Tuesday. He did not uh, die from lack of blood no, since he was bleeding was all a, over the dang place. I think we got it all, but I think so. But I'm bet you we might. I bet you there might be some on the floor somewhere. We tried to get it after we paused the video and came back, but yeah, it's very possible. Yeah. So we hope you all have a great week coming up. As always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.